Okay, hello. <laughs> Welcome to my Bendigo Sheep Show haul video. I was very excited to make it to the Bendigo Sheep Show this year. We haven't had it for two years running, so it was really nice to get back and spend some time with some of the sheep breeders and watching the judging of the sheep and then of course perusing all that yarn. <laughs> so good. Today I'll just mention quickly I am in a different part of the house. We finally got our beautiful wood cabinets put in in our dining and lounge area. So this is in the dining area and the kids got their bedrooms. Oh my goodness, there's wardrobes and storage galore for them each. So all three bedrooms were done and we are so happy and I am very jealous because we don't have our wardrobes yet. <laughs> so I am, I'm just holding on, hoping that our wardrobes and the kitchen will be done before Christmas. You'd think it would, but it has taken this long to get the <laughs> bedrooms and this done. Oh my, some space for me to put all my vases of flowers in spring and summer and autumn. I cannot wait. I just put in an order for more seeds and I am so excited for the growing season ahead. Okay, so I walked into the sheep show and I ran down, or I didn't run down, but the first place that I wanted to go was the woodworking stall. So each year I hear that they have some mending mushrooms and I really wanted to get some. There were three left and they didn't really take my fancy so I didn't get any mending mushrooms. Next year I am going on Friday because there were so many slots for mending mushrooms. Oh my goodness, so many but I did manage to pick up these sock blockers and they are small, a small size because I have small feet and I mainly knit socks for myself and my kids. So yeah, I'm excited to finish some socks and pop them on the sock blockers and have a go. I should probably mention what I am wearing right now. It is a beautiful sunny day, but <laughs> my hair is a mess because I haven't washed it for uh, a week. And so I popped on this beanie. I am wearing the antler toque. Somebody pointed out how to pronounce toque, so. <laughs> Thank you very much for correcting me on that. I'm also wearing my Sunray sweater and my Hoarfrost shawl. And I will sh demonstrate to you um, with my Hoarfrost shawl, this beautiful wooden shawl pin that I got. I actually wanted to get quite a few of these, but I just got one because you only really need one. Although, you know, you could have one to put your hair up. That would be nice. Um, I want to say shawl pin, um, but it's not really a pin, is it? Or do we just still call it a shawl pin? I don't know. Anyhow, it's nice and long and I'm not going to do it justice right now, putting it on my shawl, but voila, it keeps it so well placed and it looks so nice and it's wood and natural and just beautiful. So I will leave that there for now, unless I get too hot. Um, okay, after the woodworkers, I quickly, I ducked down to the competition area, so the wool craft competition. Um, I will put some footage in after I've shown you everything that I have purchased. I went into the show with a plan of what yarn I wanted for what projects I wanted to cast on. I did get things that I didn't expect like this shawl pin and the sock blockers. I did not expect to get those. And I did get a few items. I'm going to make some crinkly sounds with the paper here. Now this is from White Rabbit. I could not, 
I've got the prices on them too. I should take the prices off. Um, or you may be prices on. That would help too. Um, it's no secret, I guess. Um, I'm going to close that blind. Hang on. Okay. I am going to be casting on some radish socks and some radish mitts. And I'm very excited that I found this radish stitch mark, stitch, um, marker. So cute. So from white rabbit handmade, there's the card there. And I picked up three little markers. My kids are always saying how oh, you have your own markers and you don't let us use some of them. I let them use some, but not the really special ones. Um, so I got them each one of their own. And here they are. A little rabbit and two little mushrooms. I could not go past the mushrooms. So I got those and I also got from Tea Time Yarn Retreats, I got this brooch. So it says, you're terrific. <laughs> and Take the price off this one. It's the same price, but it's covering the tail of the bird. I got this one for Charlotte. We all love birds so much, but Charlotte loves drawing them. And I just couldn't go past the little bird with boots. So cute. So I got those little trinkets, trinky trinkets. Okay. Now, yarn. I went to, one, two, three. I had a tiny bit of red fingering yarn left to make the radish um, socks and mitts, but I didn't know whether I'd have enough. And then I saw this color of red <laughs> and I couldn't pass it. Um, oh, still got the sun. All right, I'm gonna show you up close. So this one is from Half Baked Hand Dyed. And Danny dies in the Macedon Ranges area. And this red was just perfect for radishes. And then I picked up a cream and a brown for the pattern as well. But I couldn't find a green that I wanted to go with for the radish socks and mitts. Um, so next door at Wren and Ollie, I found this beautiful green. So very lovely. Let me try and show you the label. Ren, is that focusing? Ren and Ollie. So that's the most beautiful green for the leaves of the radishes. So here we are. That is for socks and mitts in the radish pattern. I will put a picture of the pattern that I want to use up on the screen. So I can't wait to cast this on. How much fun is that gonna be? When I go out to harvest my radishes with my radish socks on. So much fun. Okay, next I went to the very beautiful, the Pearl Box stall. Oh my goodness. So much beautiful yarn there. When I show you the footage later, I have taken footage of each of the stalls that I really loved, the yarn stalls, and um, that I managed to get my camera out in because it was quite crazy at the start of the day and I couldn't get footage of everything. I did take footage of the ones I purchased at and a few others that I 
didn't purchase that. So I will put where what stall they are down below when they come up so you'll know and see the amazing stuff that um, the Pearl Box has. I didn't even get to video all of it because there were so many people there purchasing yarn. It was a bit mad. So I want to cast on the Zimmer. I will put a picture of the pattern up here. A sweater, um, colorwork sweater. And I have been looking at the posts of this Forge and Weld yarn that the Pearl Box have. Again, that light, I just, I closed the, there we go. Um, it is well and truly at the top end price wise of yarn, amazing amount of yard, yardage, but the ethics behind these yarns is amazing. And I love that they have strived to make a yarn to last generations and generations. So this sweater that I make will be passed down again and again, I am hoping. Ooh, okay, fall back into the bag. All right, so I am still missing, I'm still missing one color. I need the red, the barn red color to go with this sweater. I'm trying to get them up the right way. Um, but I've got, so I need one more um, skein um, but these are the colors that I have chosen for the sweater so I've got midnight these two navies as the main color and then aspen and mustard and then there'll be barn red as well so yay I'm excited so that is one other project and it is just such, it feels like it's just gonna, it, it just feel like it's just gonna wear so well and it's so beautiful. Love it. Uh, okay, last skein. I don't go crazy mad like a lot of other people <laughs> when they go to shows. Yeah, I did have a few other projects on my list but you know, you can't spend all the money. And I think just spending money on a few of the most beautiful yarns you can find is the best way to go. Um, so I have been think I've been wanting to redo one of my designs, my with the flow shawl. I will put a picture up now. Um, and I have had this yarn that I have balled up, but it is the same as this one, which is a DK. Um, it is the Parkour Kitties yarn and hand dyed in Singapore. And it is the dusty rose color. So I was looking for one to match this and the beautiful Pammy at Zigo Zago helped me find one. And this color way that she has actually dyed herself, so it is one of her um, yarns. It is called Fireplace, and it is 100% merino, and it's a singles yarn. Um, but it's just picking up the coppery. I don't know if you'll be able to see. So there's like these little coppery colors in this yarn and this is just picking up those coppers so I'm wanting to re-knit and rewrite my with the flow shawl and I'm going to rewrite it with these two yarns so I'm excited about that project too yay <laughs> now also I came across, oh, am I going to pronounce it right? Ant G. Collis um, Art. I should pop it up here for you to have a look. I came across her stall and we got some cards. 
Charlotte got a whole stack of cards and I got that one. So that's what I've got to show you and some prints. So the sheep with the chickens, I was just like, oh, that's our farm. And I couldn't go past the tawny frog mouths. Oh, look at them. So cute. And we also got the beautiful sunflower print as well. And she goes over the prints with the gold paint. It's so pretty. And we got some pelicans for my mum who loves pelicans. So that will be going off to mum um, to give her for her birthday, which we haven't seen her since her birthday. Yeah, so that's what I got from the Bendigo Sheep Show. There was, as I said, there were so many people there and it was a great, it was a great day. Yeah, it was a long day because we stay for the showing of our sheep breed. Um, we don't show ourselves, but we like to be there to assist our friends and it's always fun to watch. Um, so we were there till about 4.30, which was really early. Sometimes we've gotten home or left there at 5.30 or 6, um, which is really late. And then we have to get home and anyhow. <laughs> so I will leave you now to show you some footage of the sheep and the yarn stalls at the show. And thank you so much for watching. See you later. Ha, ha, ha.